Okay, big season is officially over, but I know that everybody is always looking for the next variety to buy. Um, so in this video, I want to do the top five brevas that I have the uh, opportunity to eat this season. Okay, so doesn't include the other seasons, just just this season. My top five brevas uh, for my collection. So here we go. Let's go ahead and pull this guy off. There we go. And okay, so here's the black cigar uh, pulled off of the tree. You know, the other one was kind of comparable in size as well. Let's go ahead and weigh this. 50 grams on the dot. Let's cut this open. Ooh, look at that. This is this is the customary purple tinge that you get on the black cigar. It's almost like licorice. Enough with the talking. Let's go ahead and try out this fig. Give it a review. And you know what? I'm going to start with the eye because that's where the most of the flavor is. Mmm. Very good. Delicious. Kind of a hint of uh, caramel to it, um, and uh, kind of a, a darker. It's hard to explain. Like a, a, a rich honey taste, but it has more of like a honey caramel type of taste to it. Um, yesterday, I almost wanted to say that I tasted a little bit of kind of a licorice -y flavor about it, but uh, it wasn't existed on this one, but it, it, it gives you a, a nice punch. You know, it's almost like eating a, a seedless, a purple seedless grape that is really sweet, mixed in with some honeydew. So, um, minus the, you know, any acidity, because there's definitely no acidity in the uh, the black Zadar, but I mean, it's, it's hard to describe that uh, kind of that purple skin flavor, you know, you get from eating like a purple grape. It's, it's kind of what I'm picking up, uh, except sweeter, the texture of honeydew. Uh, so Black to the Dollar in ground in Seattle. Another winter ripened towards uh, end of July. Today is July 30th. Okay, cut this guy open. Ooh, that looks like jammy goodness right there. Look at that. Okay, I am absolutely excited about this fig. Look at the psychonium <laughs> on it. It's nice and thick and juicy. Uh, it definitely looks like it's that super yummy melony taste to it. Uh, so Nolan and I are gonna try it out. Let's take a bite. Oh, is that yummy? That is delicious. Mm. So anyways, it's got a uh, kind of a, a honeydew, super honeydew, ripe melon texture. And uh, it's got a honey flavor to it with slight hints of strawberry jam uh, without the at acidity. And um, it's very good. It's delicious. I love that texture where it just melts in your mouth. And um, the, the, the juice kind of coats your tongue and it, uh, it's sweet. 
but not overly sweet. So like around about a 7.4 in terms of sweetness. Flavor I love. I mean, I'm gonna give this thing like a 8.8. <laughs> and uh, as far as the flavor profile, it, it is um, like honeydew with honey and strawberry all mixed into one. It's delicious. And it's big too. And it has a breba. We're gonna do one more fig for today. This fig right here is a Bifero Zeus. Now, for the unknown, let's cut up in this uh, Bifero Zeus. It is a very dense fig, like super dense. This one's called Bifero Zeus. I got mine originally from Nikki. Um, and these are a lot smaller than I expected it, but uh, we'll see. It's very dense. I'm not sure. Okay. That was delicious. Um, a couple years ago, I tried a Cali candy that was sent to me from Brian Melton. This particular fig has a little bit of that golden raisin flavor to it. Wow. Mmm. So juicy. It's refreshing. It tastes, um, I like it a lot. And the, the tree you saw is tiny. Um, and it was productive. It had three to four figs per branch. Um, you know, it, uh, Looks a little beat up, but it was still producing good things off of it. And I really am enjoying this fig. Woo! So I'm gonna eat this other one. Uh, so it has a hint of acidity, just a tiny, tiniest hint of acidity that gives it a different flavor punch. And you know, it looks a little drier, but it was actually very juicy. And the juice came from the syconium as well, not just the inside of the pulp. By Ferro Zeus. Mine's in ground, by the way was delicious uh flavor i'm gonna give this thing a 9.2 because it's so so different from a lot of the other figs that i've tasted uh, sweetness is right around a 7.6 out brand new figs um Here's the leaf, and here is the fruit. Take a close look at this San Miro fig. You can see the little green dots on it, kind of like sesame seeds. Very interesting, I've never seen that before. Oh, looks nice. Beautiful amber color. I can tell this looks like uh, it's going to be a yummy melon honey type of fig. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. This fig is so good. It is the epitome of juicy honey sweetness. Mmm. Nice bite to the skin. Not leathery, not too soft. It has kind of um, like an al dente, if you had to describe a type of texture to it. Uh, Yeah, that is 
the best tasting honey fig that uh, I've had this year so far from a Breba. It is so good. Oh man, that is just, it's sweet honey, kind of a, you know, that simple syrup agave flavor, um, but it's juicy too. So, you know, it, it coats the tongue. It's not, it's not that gelatinous type of honey, but it is a kind of a more runny type of honey. Um, uh, and I like it a lot. It's very refreshing. Uh, and when I say refreshing, it's the opposite of overly rich in my book, where, you know, it's just um, the sweetness doesn't, like, coat the back of your throat. This one just kind of dissipates faster, right? Um, I guess it's a good way to kind of describe the viscosity of um, the, the sweetness and the, the texture of a fig. Um, but I like that a lot. The San Miro is a winner. One, it's a Breba. So it'll do great here in the Pacific Northwest. We're zone uh, 8B, for those folks who don't know. Um, and two, the texture is good. The sweetness is on point. Uh, I would rank the sweetness here um, about a 7.5. You know, it is a sweeter than average, but it's very delicious. Not, not like an overly could sell you take type of sweetness but just perfect um the uh taste i'm gonna give this thing i'm gonna give this thing like an 8.8 .8. uh so pretty decent high score there you know it's hard to hit a 10 it's hard to break into the nines um especially on a brava crop you know only a few brava crops will reach that like the la para preta was very good uh but this was good is it's delicious mm. Yeah, there's a certain je ne sais quoi compared to like a Peter's Honey that the San Miro has uh, that I'm really digging. I'm loving this fig right now. It is delicious. Ooh, I love the color. So that's a plus right there. That, that kind of skin with the green polka dots. What a beauty. And the flavor to back it up too. Oh yeah, San Miro is delicious. You can see why I had to water twice a day. The leaves are completely wilted and I've already watered it for the second time. This is the uh, Lampera Preta. You can see here that it's a pretty decently productive tree. Uh, my friend Slavi has said this is one of the best figs that he has ever tried. And we'll just cut it open. Ooh, that looks pretty nice. How about that? This fig feels dense. Lampera Preta. This is a good looking fig. I know it tastes good. I think I've tasted this before, but my friend Slavia says it's one of the best figs that he's had. So um, let's go ahead and give it a try. Mmm, okay. Okay. Double mark reef. Mmm, mmm. That is actually very. Mmm. Very good. Mmm. Okay. I've had a couple really bad figs, like the DC2 this year. Um, I two five eight wasn't too great, but this fig right here, Lampera Preta. Wow. The skin is perfect. It's it. It's not leathery. It's thin, but still holds kind of the package together, so it has a nice bite to it. It is quite refreshing as well. Sweet, juicy, honey flavored with a little hint of melon. Uh, I mean, you know, some folks will describe it as either simple syrup or agave flavor. 
I haven't had agave flavored anything before, so I, I can't really use that uh, to describe the way it tastes. Um, but simple syrup, honey-like. Um, little bit of melon, little bit of caramel in there mixed into, yeah, the caramel flavor does come out with that second bite. Wow, Ampera Preta. Impressive fig. It is really good. Taste. I'm giving this thing like a 9.7. Very close to 10. This is probably the highest score I've given any fig this year so far. 9.7. Flavor, uh, it, like I said, it, it's a little bit of honey, caramel, melon. Uh, very refreshing and sweet and juicy. A little bit of that simple syrup taste to it. Um, Decently rich as well. Wow, everything about it is very good. Sweetness, I think, is right around like a 7.6. If I had to give it a score, that's a very good Brava Lampera Preta. Oh man, that's going in ground. Wow, best score so far, I think, this year for Bravas. That Lampera Preta is impressive. I love it. Very good fig. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that's my top five Brabas from the 2020 season. And um, go out, enjoy your figs, you know, start gathering uh, a few figs that um, you've been interested in getting. I think figs are fun. I think figs are delicious. You can't get them in the grocery store, so you may as well grow them yourself. Um, just a little disclaimer, you know, there, there's been talk about how I try to pump up certain figs. Um, I don't have any monetary benefit for doing that. I like doing review on, reviews on figs so that um, you know folks who are getting into the hobby or interested in a certain variety have a reference point so that they can go out and make decisions of their own based on their climate or maybe they're in the same zone as me. So there is no monetary benefit for me to hype up any figs whatsoever, whether it's you know Golden Riverside or Lampera or anything else like that. I enjoy figs. I like doing reviews on them um, and giving you know folks who might be interested in the variety kind of another perspective on it. So anyhow, this is Ben. I'll see you next season for figs. Um, have a great holiday. Take care. Bye-bye.